Welcome back to the Angry Cider Garage. And believe it or not, the Young Yang CNC machine is alive. Um, it's moving. Um, it's moving relatively safety, safely. Um, I've got all the limit switches wired the way that I want to. Uh, E-stop works. Um, I haven't cut any wood with it, but uh, come on in and I'll actually show you what, uh, at least moving around a little bit. And then uh, later on, we'll see if we can actually uh, Cut some wood with it. Grr. So again, I've got the uh, Young Yang CNC actually uh, moving around. Um, I've got, uh, you'll see here that I've got uh, Mach 3. Um, I do have the 1024 dark screen set, um, which I really like, but you can see I can uh, jog it up, jog it down bump up my jog speeds um, could probably still uh, play around with the speeds a little bit I think I can go a lot more a lot faster than that and then you know, Z up and down um, I did hit my my limit there so that worked did it was what it was supposed to go ahead and bring that back down and then just to show that all my homing works. We'll go ahead and move this way back. And then we'll go ahead and do a reference all home. So bring my Z axis up. And it's going to do X axis and then it does Y last. Again, probably some, some optimizations to do there. But it's working the way that I want. If you'll notice I actually have two limit switches, two uh, a home set up on Y and then a home set up on Y2 or the A axis. Um, both of them will actually, um, the motors will actually keep going until both of them hit the limits. Um, this helps kind of square the machine. Uh, you can see that I've got uh, my switches here. This is uh, actually I have this set to Z minus. This is Z home, X home. Again, I talked about the Y home and Y2 home. Um, and then I've got a, a X plus uh, plus. Doing it this way meant I didn't have enough switches, at least in the included kit, to actually cover the, the back of the machine. So um, those Y axes, um, I'm actually going to do that with soft limits. Um, I preferred to have both of these uh, Y homes so that I could square the machine. Um, and then again, I'll, I'm also going to uh, wire the alarm for these motors, again, closed loop st steppers, um, which support an alarm. So if they stall, they'll send an alarm trigger. Um, so I'll use that as a, as a backup for the back of the machine um, or any other time that these switches fail. So again, it's alive, it's moving. Um, hopefully I'll, uh, I'll see if I can get some, some wood cutting and I'll, I'll bring it back in for that.
So not bad for a first test, had a few issues. Um, not sure if you can see, but um, I popped this up uh, a little bit right here, um, which caused me to cut through the tabs. There were supposed to be tabs, but you can see that they didn't um, quite work out. This popped out, so I had to hit the e-stop real quick. Um, but we can take a look. These are supposed to be uh, two by two inches. So we'll set this to inches. Let's see. So 2.31, 2.032, 2 2.043. Little, maybe a little out of square or something wrong. Um, but not too bad. I'll take it. Um, definitely for what I'm doing. Um, to me, the square looks right on. So I think, let's see if you can, I don't know if you can see any light through that or not, but uh, pretty darn square as far as I'm concerned, as far as what I need. It's no bad, a couple mistakes. Um, again, I think I'm off a little bit on this. Um, my guess is that um, I took a guess on what this bit is. This is one of the bits that um, Yang Yang included it as part of this. Um, I took a guess thinking it was quarter inch. Um, it's probably not quarter inch. Um, uh, 0.175, maybe it is quarter inch. Um, but there might be some little issues there as far as why I'm off. But um, honestly, um, 2.0 is good enough for me. Um, I would like to get that other zero on there. So maybe we'll play around with it. Um, so that's it. That's a good first test cut. Um, this is with the Mach 4 5 um, CNC controller. Um, but um, like I said in an earlier video, I'm probably going to just uh, swap that out for a Masso um, just because I'd, I'd prefer to have a touch screen and, and, and not have to do with Mach 3. So as soon as I get it going, I am going to tear it apart. So thanks for watching.